thank you for inviting me. Um, so I'm replacing Georg Quinkle here, who uh, is the head of the office in Bonn, Germany, of the European Forest Institute. Uh, but um, well, together with Georg, I'm uh, coordinating the Clearinghouse uh, project, uh, where also Professor Wang is uh, playing a very important role. Um, so I'm quickly going to introduce uh, the project to you. Um, I hope you can see my screen. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, so uh, this project, the Clearinghouse project, is a, a senior European collaboration project on implementing urban forests as uh, nature-based solutions. Um, we are working uh, with 26 partners across Europe and uh, China and uh, Professor Wang and his uh, team is coordinating the Chinese side of the project. Uh, we are TFI are coordinating the European side uh, of the project. The project is, as I said, funded by the European Commission of Horizon 2020 program, and but also the Chinese Ministry of Science and Technology, the National Forest and Grassland Administrations, and the, uh, the National Forest and Grassland Administration, and the. Uh, Chinese Academy of Forestry are also co-funding uh, the project. So um, we have 10 case study cities, five in Europe and five in China. You can see them here. And uh, the aims of the project are to uh, identify um, uh, and, and filling key gaps in knowledge, uh, make suggestions for policy and management improvements, uh, looking in, into tools to support a whole cycle of urban forest as nature-based solutions. Um, have a look uh, into the health impacts of, uh, of forests, urban forests, uh, particularly in, under the COVID-19 uh, conditions. Um, looking into uh, a bit like the work that Ashley is doing on green walls, uh, we have been looking into the, the full range of urban forests, uh, how people are perceiving and using urban forests. Um, also, what are the barriers for implementing more urban forests? And then finally, we are working to develop six uh, or four thematic guidelines on uh, uh, on implementing urban forests as nature-based solutions. So, some of the outcomes uh, that will come uh, in the coming next two years are, on the one hand, the business model and investment case for urban forests as nature-based solutions. Um, as I said, also the four thematic guidelines uh, that have that will assist authorities, uh, decision makers, and civil societies to deliver urban um, forest as nature-based solutions. A global benchmarking tool built on or building on the IUCN standard for nature-based solutions, and an online application tool for de uh, developing modeling and assessing uh, NBS scenarios in uh, urban development. One of the things which is already available is this uh, education package for pupils between 10 and 14 years old at the moment in English, but uh, very soon is also available in Chinese. Uh, and this package is really trying to implement or trying to yes implement uh, science and, and knowledge on uh, urban forests in all kind of uh, topics for uh, for education. So not only environmental education or biology, but also for instance mathematics and uh, language so I would like to invite you to uh, to follow the project uh, through its def different channels uh, and uh, with this I would like to thank you all for uh, for inviting me and for um, uh, having this discussion on on the contribution of urban forests to wealthier cities Shishi thank you